welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, another awesome unboxing of the Cisco Small Business uh, SG300 10P. Uh, the reason that we got this is because uh, I think I did a video with you guys on a eight port, I think it was a Netgear a PoE switch. But the problem was with that, I wasn't able to expand. I was only able to connect four PoE devices and that's it. So we actually have to expand our access points, our wireless access points in our office and we can't expand because the four ports are being used and the other four are just regular Ethernet ports. Uh, so we did a little research and as always Cisco is a good brand. Uh, it's very expensive as always but I'm really happy with this one because it's 10 ports, 10 ports straight is PoE. So that means if we need to expand in the mid future, we have enough ports. Uh, right now we need to add three more access points with total of 10 access points in total. Uh, and this will work great, so awesome. This is actually a gigabit port switch. So uh, let's take a closer look and let's open it up. So I got my trusty little razor. This little guy's been with me since the beginning. <laughs> and uh, let's open it up. Open it up. Let's see what do they have in the box. Oh, can't you, can't you guys feel the power? Well, very self-explanatory. You know, they, they always comes with a nice little manual. And uh, now this is uh, the SG300 10 port PoE is actually a managed switch. Uh, managed switch that means it has a GUI, you can assign an IP address to it and um, configure and manipulate each port individually. Unmanaged basically means you rack it up and you just and plug stuff in and that's it. I'm probably gonna take advantage of the managed stuff, uh, nice little manual, quick start guide, always good to have. Uh, oof, my god, this is a big brick. Uh, big power supply, so that's awesome. It's not one of those cheap uh, power supplies that's real small uh, that has about 25 to 30 volts. Uh, nice serial port, serial port is also all good because you can always console in using either, uh, I believe, putty. I love putty. Not that type of putty to play with. Uh, you got your adhesive uh, little mats things as you put them in the bottom. Screws, more screws if you want to mount them. And let's take this guy out. Ooh, ain't cool, look at this. This is pretty cool. Comes with some mounts. The mounts are pretty cool. The mounts is, uh, most likely I'm gonna mount this guy on our rack server, so I really gonna be needing those mounts. And here we go. Ooh, so pretty, so nice, so awesome. So as you can guys can see uh, a little close. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So let's get a little close to it and see what's going on. Okay, so yeah, this is the front view of it. Uh, these are the 10 ports. You know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one through eight. I believe it says your link activity is basically your green and yellow, so you don't really need to worry about that. Um, gigabit, gigabit. Uh, this is your system reset right here, awesome. This is an indication that your system is up and running. These are your micro gigabit uh, interface cards. These are always pretty cool. Uh, these little guys are pretty expensive, so I don't really, I don't hardly use them. I think you could do like fiber connections on them. Side panel, just ventilation. On the back side, you would get your serial port. This is where you would connect that serial uh, connection that they provided you, this little guy right here. Uh, the problem is a lot of laptops nowadays don't have a serial port. So the only way that you could get this if you go to uh, Best Buy or one of those electronic stores and purchase one with a USB to serial port so you can console in that way and then when you do a putty just make sure you switch your comp to I believe normally it's comp 4 or comp 5 and this little guy right here is the power supply 
So I am pretty happy with the device. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna be racking it up and rearranging and do some little bit of uh, wire management. You guys know what I mean. It deals with wire management. Everything has to be clean and organized and most likely I have to upgrade our topology to make sure everything is correct. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this unboxing, plus a quick look on the Cisco's SG300 10P, which is the PoE managed switch. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them right below, and don't forget about hitting that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.